Blood clots can be downright deadly. I'm talking about DVTs and PE. DVT stands for deep vein thrombosis. PE stands for pulmonary embolism. I'm gonna explain what both of those are, the symptoms of each, the risk factors, who gets them, how to prevent them, uh, and the treatment as well, because guys, this is that important. Uh, by the way, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle. It's good to see you. Now, this is the thing, deep vein thrombosis. Uh, when clots form in uh, some of the deep veins, and they don't dissolve, um, especially in locations like the lower leg or the pelvis, uh, the thigh, uh, even sometimes the arm. Um, sometimes these clots, uh, some of them can actually travel, they can break off and travel to the lung. This is not good because that clot, okay, that clot of blood can actually block airways and cause shortness of breath, chest pain, trouble breathing, can even lead to death in some people. It's one of the reasons why these are so deadly and dangerous. And I have to say this, that if you at all think you have this, don't walk into your doctor's office. You go to the emergency room. It's very important. Symptoms of lower extremity DVT or deep vein thrombosis include things like swelling of your lower leg, um, redness or tenderness when you press on it, um, symptoms of uh, pulmonary embolism, again, that clot that can travel from for example, the lower leg and go to the lung. If someone were to have a pulmonary embolism, they could have symptoms like shortness of breath, chest pain, increased heart rate, difficulty breathing, um, things like that. It could actually lead to death, as I as I mentioned. Uh, they might also have um, hemoptysis, cough up blood, etc. Those things can occur. People don't necessarily have all of those symptoms. Uh, they don't necessarily have those symptoms exactly, but those tend to be the common symptoms of DVT and PE. Now I know you're saying, well, what causes this? What what causes some people to have a, a blood clot in the lower extremity, a blood clot in the lung. Well, there's a number of conditions and situations that might make us more vulnerable. Um, conditions such as uh, prolonged sitting or bed rest can increase our risk of blood clots. Smoking even, obesity. In women, pregnancy. The condition of pregnancy actually makes you more prone to clotting. Um, also, hormone replacement therapy can do it. Uh, oral contraceptives, birth control, even some breast cancer medications. And speaking of cancer, cancer in and of itself can create a hypercoagulable state for people, increase their risk of potentially having blood clots. Also trauma, you know, uh, major accidents, major surgeries. Um, again, I mentioned the prolonged sitting, uh, it is, it's not moving, not being mobile, that can be very important. Some people have underlying conditions that simply make them more prone to clotting. Some people have clotting disorders or blood disorders that make them more likely to clot. Some people have a family history of blood clots. That's not even the full list. The list actually is a bit longer than that. So there are a number of things that can predispose you to having these DVTs uh, or PEs potentially. Uh, so this is the thing. The good thing is there are treatments for blood clots. They can be treated when uh, found uh, at a certain time uh, in the right person, um, occurring in the right way, etc. There are treatments, blood thinners and things like that. What you need to do though, prevention is sort of a funny topic here, but very important. I think probably the most important thing is to understand your risk. Um, know if you are a person with a clotting disorder, if you have a family history of this. Understand any potential risks of the medications you are on or have been given by your doctor and take those seriously. Make sure you're asking questions. Also, do your best to mitigate risk. That is, if you're on long flights, get up and walk up and down. If you have a long road trips, make frequent stops and make sure you're getting up and walking. Uh, don't smoke. You know That can put you in more of a hypercoagulable state, perhaps increase your risk. Keep a healthy weight. Maintain that healthy weight because we know that uh, being overweight, obese can increase that risk. Um, there are things like that that you can do. Also, exercising as well. The most important thing, though, is to understand how serious these are. If you have been ever diagnosed with a blood clot uh, in your lower legs or for example or anywhere else in your body or your lungs you need to kind of make sure that you are following doctor's advice and treatment plans um, and you also anyone out there if you have any of the signs and symptoms I mentioned or you have concerns about blood clots you've got to contact uh, an emergency medical provider right away this is not something we want to wait on so this is just sort of a brief overview of blood clots uh, in terms of deep vein thromboses and pulmonary embolism I hope this is helpful just sort of Certainly be mindful of this, guys. I'm Dr. Jen Cottle, practicing family physician, on-air health expert and video creator on Facebook. If you've not liked and followed my page, please do. Um, on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell for updates. Uh, also, check out my website, drjencottle.com, for uh, my free health newsletter, my daily health tips, and so much more.